Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittany coming at you fast with another Paragon tutorial video and today we are going to be talking about the art of the last shot. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with MOBAs or don't know what the term last shot means, pretty much when you're fighting minions like these little orange cute fellers right here, when you're fighting them, you want to get the last hit on them, meaning you want to kill them with your last shot. It doesn't matter how many hits you actually deal to them, it doesn't matter how much damage you deal to them, the, your majority focus is to get that last and final shot on them because that's what gets you the most XP, that's what gets that little orb substance sucked into your body like you see right there. And that only happens when you get the last shot. Now in Paragon, when you kill a minion, just a minion dies on the ground, it leaves 20 CXP. When you get the last shot on it and it absorbs all into you, you get 100 CXP. You get 5 times more, which means you get 5 times more CXP, you get your equipment 5 times faster than normal. Which is very, very, very important and crucial in getting the upper hand versus your opponent. Being able to one shot, I mean last shot, well, just, it, it's, it's super crazy, it's super important. So, this is what this video is going to cover, tips and tricks and what to pay attention for and how to get better overall at last shotting. Because it does take a while to get good at, it does take a while to get the hang at, uh, and let's go over it. So, you see me playing mid lane here with Gideon. This last shot concept is going to be very popular in any lane, whether you're mid laner, whether you're pusher, whether you're an ADC, whether you're an AP, anything like that. You always want to try and get the last shot no matter what. So there's a couple things that come into this. Let's focus on the minions themselves. So what you want to do is you want to take a look. What I like to do in the beginning is I like to throw a couple of my basic attacks at the minions in the beginning of the game before my minions get to them. This lets me judge how fast my attack speed is and how much damage I do relatively to the minion's health. Now with Gideon, his attack speed is kind of slow to start off with. It's about 1.3, 1.4, and his damage is about 50 right in the beginning when it comes to minions, when you don't have any equipment items slotted at all. Note, guys, this is right in the beginning of the game. This is the most like intro level last shotting tutorial right here, right now, and then we'll get into later game later, but in the beginning, you want to make sure that you're looking at the health of the enemy minions while your minions are diminishing theirs. And that will help you gauge, okay, can I hit him? Can I kill him with one of my shots? Because you notice how much health it takes off when you hit him each time with a ranged attack. And that's what you do when you test it in the beginning. So then you pay attention and look at the damage that your minions do to the enemy minions and time it well enough to be like, okay, yeah, there we go. Now this is when I should hit it. Another thing, speaking of your minions, is you want to see the pattern of their damage. You want to pay attention to how quick they kill the enemy minions when there's about six of them left, when there's about three of them left, when there's about nine of them left. You want to see how quick they kill a target because minions always focus on the same target when they switch targets. So you just have to pay attention, see how quick the health bar drains when your minions hit their minions and see how that works. So it is very important to always keep your eye on the prize, so to speak. Always keep your eye on the minions while you're doing this. And you're never going to 100% get the last shots, and it's okay. Don't stress out too much about it. But as you see right there, I'm still killing the person in my lane while getting this farm up, while getting these minion kills. And that's another thing you have to notice. Because like I said, it doesn't matter how many hits you do against those minions, as long as the last hit is yours, you will get 100% of the experience. So while your minions are busy fighting their minions, you should be pestering the living hell out of the other person in your lane. This typically works well if you're one-on-one. -on -one. If you're 1v2, say you're on the right side and you're playing as a Twin Blast and you're versing a Sparrow who has a support as a Muriel, then it might be difficult because you can't really handle two people at once, so you kind of have to back up and focus 100% on the farm. But in this situation, one-on-one -on -one in mid lane, you can easily pester the hell out of the other enemy so they don't get their XP, they don't focus on their minions, but at the same time keeping an eye on your minion's progress on the enemy minion's health. So let's say you're throwing your attacks at the, for instance, howitzer that's on the other side, and you notice that your minions are getting them down in health. So you stop chucking your lobs over at Howitzer and just throw one real quick at a minion, suck up the XP, and get back to Howitzer and rinse and repeat. It's all about the timing, and it's all about patience and understanding the pattern of your attacks. 
Also, as you upgrade your attacks, as you're going through the game, as you're getting more damage, notice how much damage your attacks do now. Notice how much your Cosmic Rift does in this situation. Or if you have an AoE attack that you like to use for farming, notice how much that does in the situation now where it's going on. So it's all just a game of timing. It's all just a game of patience and patterns and seeing the situation and realizing it. Now, unlike traditional MOBAs, such as League of Legends and Dota 2, where it's top-down version is much easier to control rather what I mean by that is you just click and point you know point and click on the minions that you want to hit and then it auto attacks them whereas in this game and games like smite you actually have to aim and actually hit the minions with your attacks you can't just click on them with the mouse from above like an eagle bird's eye view so with that comes the next notion positioning you want to make sure that your positioning is good so that you are able to get the final shot. Because what happens is, a lot of the times, minions get in your way, anime minions block the minion that's low on health. Because sometimes your minions attack somebody in the back, you know, and the ones in the front will kind of cover the people in the back. So you want to make sure you're coming at it from an angle where you can actually hit them all and make sure you actually get those final shots. Now, once you're upgrading and once you're able to get a lot of damage into your Cosmic Rift ability, for example, if you're Gideon or if it's Howitzer, you're able to do your long range rocket more, you should also be able to push much quicker. So Gideon's awesome because once you upgrade Cosmic Rift to a certain point, you can make every single minion in the ring one shot or even kill them if you deal enough damage to them. So as you guys see right here, I'm about to get my third kill on Howitzer in mid lane barely recalling I did recall for an item but still like this is how you want to control the situation you want to control your lane you want to be able to stay in your lane longer than the other enemy and being able to farm up well while doing that is going to help you and ensure victory in the situations so you know make sure you take all of those tips into consideration patience timing Understanding the patterns and positioning are all very, very important in farming minion XP really well, really properly. So this video is coming up to a close. Like I said, those are the things you want to focus on. If you really want to, you can go in, teleport in, and ulti the hell out of the opposite lane. Just for added pleasure, just for added benefit. Just so you can absolutely demolish the competition. I went on to win this game. I do have the full gameplay. I might upload the rest of it in some sort of other tutorial video. Or simply a gameplay video at some point. I'm not exactly sure. But hopefully this guide was helpful. If it was guys please let me know. It really helps me a lot by dropping a like. I, a lot of people want likes just to show off. I actually use the like system as a, a rating system. To see how well these videos are doing. So please do that. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And as always... Make sure you all have a wonderful day.